I'm going to share how to add a sensor to a teleporter to turn off and on the shield while teleporting. While standing on the teleporter, the shield will disable, and once you're gone, the shield will enable, thus keeping your base or ship protected while elsewhere. You will need three things in order to do this. You'll need a shield generator, a teleporter, and a motion sensor. We're going to look at the two types of sensors, a sensor for a small vessel and a hover vessel, and a sensor for bases and capital vessels. Since I'm on a CV, I will be using this sensor for the capital vessel. There are two types of teleporters, a teleporter for a capital vessel and a teleporter for a base. After you've placed your generator somewhere on your base or your ship, find a spot to place your teleporter. If you plan ahead, you can place the sensor on a wall directly behind the teleporter. Once selected, I want to right click and you can see it says add to toolbar and press RMB or right mouse button to unfold group. When I right mouse click, the group shows all the available items. I can hover over each one to see what each is. But we want the motion sensor, so I'm going to left mouse click the motion sensor. You'll notice that when you add a sensor, that it automatically places its backside to the floor or the wall or the ceiling. So we want to add it right here next to our teleporter. We could add it to the floor here or to the wall here. So I'm just going to add it to the wall here. And I'm using the left mouse button click to add it to the wall. I want to get rid of the selection. So I'm going to press the zero key, which you'll see on the toolbar is the hand key. I want to keep my crosshairs on the sensor. And I'm pressing P to open the devices menu. Now, if your device menu doesn't come up and you're on the main menu, just press this to get to the devices menu. Now, you'll notice that I can't name this sensor. So in order to name it, you can just remember, oh, I need to auto group it. OK, now to find it, we're going to look under signals and sensors. And of course, doing that, you lose it again. So in order to find it again, you can hover your crosshairs over it again, press P. And this is the one that will come up. So we're going to call it Sensor Med Bay Teleporter. OK, so now you'll see, and I left clicked just here, and you'll see I updated it to Sensor Med Bay Teleporter. So we know which one it is if we ever want to scroll through our list. So we have that now named. With the device menu open, we want to go to the signal logic for the sensor, and we're going to name that signal Med Bay Teleporter. Now for the teleporter, we will press P, bring up the menu, and we're already on the signal logic for this teleporter. And we could also name this teleporter to Med Bay Teleporter, and we can go over to signal logic, and we want to tell it, oh, we want the Med Bay teleporter sensor, and we want it to follow. OK, we're done now marking the teleporter. OK, now we want to set up the shield generator signal. And so we select our shield generator under our defenses list. And first off, we're selecting which signal we want. And we want the Med Bay teleporter. We want to set it to follow. And this I stands for inverting the signal. And so what that means is if it's off, unchecked, the device is off by default. And triggering the signal will turn it on. In this case, we want our shield generator on all the time. But we want to turn it off when we stand on the teleporter. So we're going to select to invert the signal. And now when we stand on that teleporter, it's on by default. But we want to turn it off when the signal is tripped. Once that signal is set up, we go back to our sensor. We're going to go to Devices. And we want to set our signal to go down and over to the right and pick up our triggering device. So we're going to set all of these to 0. Notice how you can see the red behind my screen. So now it's just on the sensor itself. We want to go to the side too. And I'm playing around with these to figure out which direction they go. So side 2 minus takes me to the left. We don't want that. Side 2 takes me to the right, which we do want. But now we also want to go down with it. So we're going to check out this. No, we don't want that. 
and that's what we want. Okay, now this takes us out farther behind me, but we want this one, side plus one. So you can see now I've ended up with side plus one and side plus two. So now I can close this menu and my signal is set up. So first off, we're going to look at our main. We'll see our shield is on. And I'm going to walk over here and stand on the teleporter. It says deactivate shields to teleport. And then it de deactivates it. And now I could press F to teleport. I don't want to, so I'm going to go off and my shield is back on. So let's look at this again. Once I press F and I look at my shields, my shields are off. I get off of it, the shields are on. And so once I teleport somewhere and leave, that's also going to trigger the shields to turn back on again. 